Afternoon everyone, how are you all? You doing well? well what have we got on today? We've got uh, pretty little dragonflies today for you, so you can learn to make one little element and then you can go off on your own little flying experience of creating your own jewellery with them. Um, so what else has happened in today? It's a little bit grey here in Malvern, UK today. Uh, the looking out the window now i've got beautiful yellow blossom just outside the door from a, a, a small cornice tree i've got there and it's been flowering absolutely brilliantly from i suppose it started the end of january so it's doing really well this year absolutely covered in little yellow blossoms so i thought well we're a, bit, we're a bit of yellow we've got some yellow nail varnish on the go I'm not sure about that but it's uh, sunny nice and cheery and so what we got on to the comments today let's see oh a few hellos to say we've got a purple penny waving uh, marlena says good morning purple snowdrop says afternoon all uh, carol clark says hi all we got amy d hello all very interesting bikers mm. we should look into those a bit in a minute uh md craft hello everyone afternoon morning evening everyone says purple penny the purple snowdrop says they would look brilliant hanging in a window Yes, now I I have thought about maybe a little wind chime kind of uh, creation with them, and I think they would work really nicely. And those little crystals would certainly sparkle nicely when we get the sunshine. Uh, Stephanie says hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Selena says hello, and Rain Kim, hello, everyone. Wow, well, hey, glad you could join me today. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this little project. It's quite simple. Nothing much to think about with it um but you can obviously mix it up with different sparkles different beads anything you've got on your stash you could certainly recreate them using all sorts of different beads and so hopefully uh, i say hopefully nice and simple and you'll enjoy it and i'd like to see what you go and make with it and uh diane says hi everyone and so then i take what we do we're, we we'll show that one let's get into the groove Hi everyone, really new to this, but really enjoying watching and learning. Okay, Diana, Diane, sorry. Brilliant, welcome. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. It's uh, good fun. There's lots of lovely people on here with all the ideas of their own and inspiration, comments of what else you could possibly do with these things that we get up to. Uh, Arena says, hi, Joe. Hi, everyone. Hello. And Mandy, hello, everyone. Oh, brilliant. I'm glad you're all joining in. And looking forward to today. So, what are we doing today? We've got gorgeous, the six millimeter Czech glass rounded bicones. And normally, when we talk bicones, we're thinking of sparkly crystal bicones. So, these are a little bit different. Uh, they're lovely and fun. The colors aren't necessarily uh, consistent throughout the bead. Some have like marbling, swirling patterns, some have uh, AB coating to them. Um, and it makes them all quite individual. Uh, so are we ready? Shall we get moving on it? And you're gonna love the bundles. So I think you're probably gonna wanna go for both bundles on this one today and add your own beads that you've got from your stash to make some other exciting. And when we get showing, you can see you can actually make them quite a bit bigger as well if you want to just make the bodies longer, the wings a bit bigger. Um, you'd be a little bit restricted on the size of the wire to how strong it will be um but again you could come up with some novel solutions to double wrap the wire on the outside of the beadwork rather than just considering going through the seed bead so anyway that's enough enough talking from me let me switch over to uh our little earrings that i've made now simple element little dragonfly or damselfly and this is the little element see the nail varnish what do you think? Mm, not bad. A bit different for me. That's usually purple. So we're stretching the uh, colours a bit. So a little dragonfly. As you can see, these beautiful little Czech glass rounded bicones. And you can see it quite well on this blue variety that these do have quite a lot of marbling. And if I show you, um, I've got some left on a strand here with a green these ones are not they're more strong in their color but you do have that ab coating on them 
which we'll just catch it in the light there. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And there's the pink as well, which looks really quite pale. But then you catch it in the light and you get quite a, a real rose pink coming from it. And it's also got the coating, as you can see there. Now the uh, the two kits available, two bundles, um, there's two colours of each of the six mil rounded bicones. Okay, and you're also going to get uh, two colours of the, sorry, three colours of the seed beads, so you can have a play. A strand of the micro crystals, which are the Aurora size 11, um, so they fit very, very nicely with the seed beads that we've got here. And you're getting some 0.4 artistic wire as well, and it needs to be quite a thin wire because we've got these little micro crystals that we're going through. And there's only so many times you can pass through the bicones as well. Okay, so you don't want a really heavy gauge wire, which just makes these quite dainty, and delicious. Is that a thing to say about a dragonfly? Mm, not sure. Right, should we make a start? So on the wire front, 0.4. And you're going to use, well, I found best to use about uh, 24 inches to about 60 centimetres. This will allow you to have space to wiggle around a bit with the wire, have enough to wrap at the end um, without being stuck with only a small bit to play with. So I'm just running the wire from thumb and finger, just pulling it through there. Just give me something that's not too too bendy. And then I'm going to put the offer the two ends next to each other. And instead of going for exactly halfway on my piece of wire, I'm just going to offset the end slightly. So that's about half an inch, about just over a centimetre, two centimetres maybe there. OK, and then when I come down to the other end, that's going to be like my halfway point with that offset. Now, the reason for that is when you're threading up uh, little seed beads and things, it's off and you want to run both wires through it, which we will do in a minute. It's easier to add your bead to one and then add the other wire through it. OK, so I've just popped on a little silver size 10 seed bead. OK, and I'm going to let that one go all the way down to the end. OK, then I'm going to pick up my little tray here. And now with the the earrings I've made and some other examples I'll show you shortly. I've used pretty much one colour for the body. So maybe all greens or like the earrings are all blue for the body. And then made different colour ways for different necklaces and things. So I'm just pulling that down now. And what I'm looking for is just to get that end piece of wire nicely wrapped around the seed bead down here. OK. So what I don't want is a loop of wire on show. I just want it to neatly hold on to that seed bead and the bicones here. OK, so back up to the other end. Now, at this point, I'm going to add another little silver size 10. OK, feed it onto the one wire and then feed the second wire through it. It's just easier than trying to get two points of wire through at the same time. So let's mix it up a bit. Let's have a lovely little pink one here. And say your, your bundles will have two colours, so you can do the same or you can keep them all one colour. Depends how you like your little dragonflies. OK, again, we're just bringing that down to the end. So there we go. We've got two on there now. So one more little seed, seed bead. And again, entirely up to you what colours you use for your seed beads. You're going to have three to choose from in your bundle. Um, what we got? Let's go for a green one this time. Okay, so just pop that in there. Okay, so this is forming the body of our little little dragonfly here. Okay, so we've got the seed bead, bicone seed bead, bicone seed bead, and bicone. And this time, just to change the pattern, we're adding two seed beads. Okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, Run away, that one's run away as well. Pop them on the table. 
Again, pop the second wire through. There we go. Okay, so we've got one in between these bicones, but we just want two here. This is going to call be where the main body part of our little dragonfly comes from. So we need a little bit of space there just to wrap our wires in a moment. Okay, and then what we're going to do is add on our last bicone. So this, in theory, is his head or her head. So get pop that one on there. Bring the way down. Okay, now this is where we add his little sort of antenna things. Now I know in the real world, a real dragonfly, those big ones that you see flying around, all you've got is his eyes. He doesn't really have antennae. So this is a bit of a, a fantasy dragonfly, to be fair. Um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Let's have a bit of fun. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is bring in a faithful little strip. This is just a beading fabric along with cat hair. I just visited it sometime in the morning. Okay. I have to give my cat some uh, cats some munchies before I go live, otherwise they would uh, come and visit me and let me know they haven't had their food. So hopefully they've all eaten them all and gone off for a little snooze for the afternoon. Okay, so here I am for his first little antenna. I'm just adding one, two, three, one more, make up four of the purple seed bead that I'm using today. Okay, and then just to tie in with the rest of the body, a few more of those over there, ready? a little silver, silver tip to his little antenna. Okay, so we've got a four in a different colour and the silver just there. Okay, but what you could do is actually change the silver one for one of the little micro crystals, just for a little extra sparkle on the end. So we're just using my thumbnail. This wire is 0.4, it's really easy to work with. And what I'm looking to do is keeping that seed bead at the top firmly in place, and then I'm just pulling the wire down towards the top of his head. Okay, so we end up with this little, little tiny change of direction in the wire coming down towards his head here okay i'm going to hold on to those seed beads and that bit of wire so we can keep it firm and this piece that i'm still working on is going to wrap around just under the antenna between the head so i'm going to come towards me just bring it round round once so it's just got back to there and then underneath i'm bringing it down across the bicone and then it's going to come into this little body section okay so i'm going to wrap that round there and just bring it over this way towards me okay so if i turn that over without the wires getting in the way you can just see okay there's a little antennae and there's the wire coming across the head which will be the back of the head and then it just wraps around there into the body part. Okay. And then just give that little antenna a squidge. Make sure those seed beads are sitting nicely in a row. Take your second antenna wire. And again, feed on four seed beads. If you can't get them all in one go, just pick one up at a time, let it slide down the wire and go back for the next one. There we go. Okay. So we've got our four purple sea beads, one silver. And in the same manner, I'm just going to take my nail and hold the beads where they are and bring that back down on itself. Okay, I know my fingers are right in the way of doing this. Okay, so there we go. We're just holding it in place. Hold on to those wires with your thumb and finger. Wrap your little wire around between the bottom of the antennae and that head bead, little bicone there. And then again, if I turn it over this time, I'm just taking this across that first wire. So you should be working in the opposite direction this time, taking it onto the little body beads and then bringing it round. So, okay. So these have come down, crossed over, 
So you've got one wrap in this part, cross over here, and one wrap in here, and then your wire should be coming out at an opposite angle here. Okay, so that gives us our little dragonfly's body. So as I was saying in the little intro, we could make his little body quite a lot longer. Depends what you want to do with them. I think um, in the summer it might be quite nice if they were strung on little jump rings and maybe some fishing line type nylon cord and you could hang them up in trees and little bushes if you're having a nice barbecue maybe hang them off the gazebo or something that could be quite fun and the little crystals would just set there sparkling in the sunshine for you i think my real dragonflies would probably come and have a look at them as well because they're quite inquisitive little creatures okay so now we're going to start on the ring on the wings Okay, then I've got little crystals everywhere now. Let's just let me grab a few. Let's pop a few down here. Put those ones out of the way. Okay, aren't they gorgeous? They're so, so sparkly. Pop a few in my hand and see if you can just. So, there we go. That's not too bad a picture there. You can see. Even though it is a very petite little crystal, can you just see as the light catches it where the hole is? Now on the camera, it looks quite big, but believe me, when you're trying to get this little bit of wire through it in a minute, we'll see how quickly I can do it as a challenge. You'll have to keep count of the beads for me, I think, just in case I lose my way. Okie dokie. Right, so wings. So here we are, we're coming out the little top part of this body. Okay, now I'm going to add some green seed beads, I think, to do his wing. And it's just a very simple, threading them onto this wire now. And in order to keep your wings the same size for each little dragonfly, just keep count of your beads. So this wing is going to have 15. So we're trying to do it in fives and I don't have to count out loud but you can count for me There's ten of those another five okay. and then I'm going to add one silver because I like to incorporate beads that I've already used in other parts of the body and then on the big wings going to have just make this um, gonna have five crystals let's see the uh, the talking stops as I'm concentrating on these tiny little holes there we go so there's our five one silver and five crystals okay let them come down the wire then we're back to one silver one just to encase those crystals there and then 15 of the greeny color that's five so in my day job i work for a building supplies company here in the uk and uh i get to count stop all day every day so it's not dissimilar really, it's just that, you know, bricks are a bit messier, blocks are a bit messier to count. And I prefer little sparkly seed beads, to be fair. I'm sure everyone else would too. Okay, so here we go. So this is what we're looking for on our top rings, okay? We have the 15 seed beads, the one silver, the five crystal, one silver, and another 15 seed beads. Okay, so that's nice and clear there. So I'm just going to gently manipulate my wire. I want the tip of the wing to be where the crystals are. So I just want to encourage it to bend at that point. And I'm looking to bring the wire back against this little body piece. So I'm looking for that nice sort of teardrop shape for my wing. I'm going to wrap the wire. So I'm just taking it across the top of this one, down the back. And then up around. Now you just need to hold your little wing 
out the way. You want those seed beads to come close to the body, but I don't want the little seed bead jumping along the wire as I'm wrapping her. Okay, so that's our one there. I'll just move that wing wire out the way. Okay, so that's our first wing. Simple, no problem at all. Just keeping count of the beads and making sure you do the same. Obviously, if you've only counted 14 on one side, just do 14 on the other. You know, have a nice even wing. If you want your wings a little bit longer, a bit more dramatic, add a few more beads. You could get very pretty and uh, do different patterns with your seed beads as well. It'd be quite good fun. Okay, so second wing. Again, 15 of the green bead in this case. So I hope you're all counting along with me. First time. Okay, so that's our 15 green ones, one silver, five crystals. And you notice I'm just using the tip of the wire to try and turn the crystal and then get the wire to go through that little hole there. And you can see they fit on this wire absolutely no problem at all, there's no fight. I'm not taking the plating off the wire as I, I move them along. They're just quite happily sat on there and free, free moving. So there's five crystals, one more silver, and 15 more green. That's my 10. Let's get some more. So that's our second wing. So I'll just turn around. To, so I'm working that wing away from myself. I'm going to hold on to that little tip where I want my crystals to be at the tip of the wing. Okay, now the, the wire on this is coming out from the top side. So this new wire, when I start wrapping it, I want to wrap from underneath first. So I'm just going to move it under there. And again, just hold the seed beads in place with your finger. Make sure when you give that little wire a pull. So this is what we want to avoid having gaps in our wire work. So just make sure that those little beads jog along, get them in place, and then put the pressure behind the dragonfly to wrap your wire around. And that holds all your beads on the wire and hold them in place. Okay. So there we go, it's looking quite pretty already. Okay, so we should have one wire coming one way and one wire coming the other way. Now I'm just going to wrap this wire around because you can see this wire is coming a little bit middle ground of the wings we've just created and I want them to sit a bit further down. So I'm just going to take that wire around again. So they're coming more or less the gap between the top wing and that next bicone. Okay. Seems a bit mean holding him by his head, doesn't it? I'm sure he'll be okay. Keep him safe. Right. Second wing. I don't want the second personally, I don't want the second wing to be as large as the first. Um that's entirely up to you when you're, you're making your uh, little dragonflies, how, how big you want their wings, how small you want their wings, uh, what colours do you want them the same colour. Um, in this case, I'm going to just so it might make it easier on the, the demo just to do his second wing or her second wing in this lovely pinky colour we've got. So on this round, I'm going to be doing 10 seed beads in the purple. Nine and ten. Hope you were keeping count there. Okay, one silver. And then this time only three crystals. 
No. Another idea is when you you make your dragonflies, maybe you miss the sea feeds altogether and you just have crystals for your rings. It'd be super sparkly. That's 10 of the seed beads. So we got 10 seed beads, one silver bead, three crystals, one silver, and 10. Okay, and in the same way before, we just want to manipulate, manipulate the wire around. So we've got the crystals at the tip. This wire is starting from the top, so I want to bring the bot round to the bottom. Okay, don't worry too much if your wing shape isn't quite how you want it at the moment you've got time to play with this in a minute you just make sure that your beads are sitting nicely against the body avoid those little gaps just pulling that wire in a bit more and then wrapping around that main body piece so you're still working above this body of the bicone okay so all your metal work is going on in this little body piece which is why we put the two seed beads in that section Okay, so that's that one, and we shall repeat on this side. So again, it's a smaller wing, so it's 10 seed beads. Okay, that's the 10 purple ones, the one silver, the three crystals. There we go. Let them slide down. One silver. I need a few more of the purple ones here. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so again, our wire is coming from the top of this little body. I'm going to just turn it over, hold on to those beads so they don't slide off the end of the wire. Put my finger and thumb just around those crystals so I can get that nice little teardrop shape with our wing. Okay, make sure your wire is full of beads and then hold it in place. So you can get that final wrap around this body. Okay. We don't always make it look easy. Wrap it around. Okay. Right. So we have our little dragonfly. Just working out where this uh, wire needs to sit here. Bring it between those two wings. So all our, our wire work beans around here okay now it's just a case of finishing off so i said that the little crossover of the wire on my little designs is the back of my dragonfly okay so this is the front so i'm going to take the wire here and i'm just going to bring it up past his right shoulder between his head and his shoulder and then I'm going to bring it, I'll turn it over for you. I'm going to bring it all the way down in that diagonal to the bottom wing. Back again, between his shoulder. Leave that one for a second. This one's already at the bottom. So I'm going to go for the left hand shoulder. Turn it over. Bring it all the way down in a diagonal across his body. Back up the back and back down again. So all I'm looking to do is get a nice little crossover section here. So I'm just bring that one back down. Okay, now I like to finish them off. I'll finish one wire first, and then I'll wrap again with the longest piece. So I'm going to get my flush cutters in, and I'm just going to gentle pull without cutting. I'm going to angle the pliers so I've got a bit of a bend in the wire, because I want this wire to bend down into the body and a little snip okay so that's that first wire dealt with okay if you've got a sticky up there 
You've got some uh, long nose pliers or even your, your finger. You now you can probably get that. So there's, there's no real strength to this wire when you're moving it around manually. This second wire, again, just to follow with that diagonal pattern all the way around. And I'm just going to wrap around the bottom so I can I'm back to the back of the dragonfly. There's a little crossover wire sat there. And in the same manner, I'm going to snip off this bit of wire here. Back to one side. Get the pliers in again and just make sure a little piece is pushed down into the body of where the, of the wire work is so it's there's no sharp sharp bits to get there and that my friends is lovely pretty little dragonfly now that you can play with his wings um you could make them a bit wider if you want to so you could make them quite uh, quite narrow depending on your on your view of what you like your dragonfly to look like I think if you turn him into a butterfly quite easily, you just have two the same size, um, maybe a bit bigger. And you could even, you know, make your, your wing a bit more butterfly. If you had a few more crystals, so that would give you a bit more scope to go more butterfly wing with that. So we'll keep him in a little dragonfly for now. So I'm just going to go for a narrow teardrop shape. And that is our little little dragonfly beautiful so what what to do with these when we've uh, made a few let's uh there's one we made earlier okay so i now have a little pair of dragonflies let's see if we zoom in a little bit more for you is that okay with the camera a bit fuzzy perhaps so as you can see the nice little pair i've mixed the colors with these um just for a bit of fun that the colour probably shows up a bit better by holding them for me. Now to move them, you can see those sparkles on the crystals. Aren't they lovely? So, pretty. So, what, what to do with them? Yeah, let's get back on, on track. Getting dazzled by the uh, the colours. So, these were ones that you would have seen on the, on the, um, the advert for today, I guess little dragonflies in blue and so these had quite a marbly pattern to them but you'll you'll see with the the beads you get through in your kits they have little characters of their own and simply by just using um an eight mil jump ring you've got in your bundle and popping an ear wire fish hook wire in this case onto one wing it just it will give a nice dangle if you like your earrings really long you could maybe if you fancy it have another little jump ring in between these crystals and have your little dragonflies one on top of the other i think that would probably reach my shoulders on, on my neck that'd be really good fun some other examples i've done just to give you some ideas really uh, so this little one here same dragonflies Jump rings again, just to join them from their wing, one of the wings. And this piece here is tiger tail. And then I've just crimped the ends with the lobster claw. I've used some bicones within that necklace pattern just to make sure my little dragonflies jump rings stay where I want them to. Otherwise, if they don't have the bicones there, they will all just want to cluster in one little clump at the bottom. So that's one design for you. Probably make a nice bracelet as well, but I think the uh, they may get a bit more knocked about on the bracelet. So another idea. So almost like I was saying about the earrings, I've actually used two jump rings here to join them, just for a little bit of added texture and design. Um, one jump ring would be fine. But because I've used two here, I'm using two here as well. Then on the neckline again, it's tiger tail with the seed beads picking up the colour from the little dragonflies. And then the bicones with little seed beads and crystals 
just placed in between there. Okay, let me see. And I get this sort of orange terracotta colour is really pretty as well. It's got little flashes of red through. I think that's quite uh, spring or maybe even autumn. Yeah. And then one more design to, to quickly show you here. Uh, hopefully this has given you some ideas of how to use your little, little elements. Um, another necklace idea. Mixing up my dragonfly colours again. Okay. And then this one uses, it will probably use your whole bundle in one necklace, but using the bicones with wire. And that's just a little wrap wire loop separated with the seed beads in the silvers, in this case. And a lovely little wrap loop there. And I've used just some jump rings I had laying around uh, to make the connections between the wings and then the connection between the little segments of the bicone. So there's three bicones interspersed for seed beads and then little wrap loops and then jump rings to connect the next one along. So I think hopefully you think that's uh, quite a pretty idea. I, I think they look very whimsical and fantasical. And certainly uh, makes you think of spring and uh, warmer days ahead. I'm quite lucky. I've got not a very big garden, but I do have quite a big fish pond in it because that's uh, something I absolutely love. And we get all the visitors, the frogs, and we've got the fish in the pond, only a few, but mostly visitors from the wildlife that's around here, and uh, say frogs. We haven't had newts yet. Uh, we have toads, um, heron. Luckily, we've been, he's just been watching at the moment. The fish are quite big, so hopefully they're safe. Um, we've got lots and lots of little insects in the water as well, which is lovely to watch. Uh, I'm a big fan of water. I think it's really good for you if you can sit and listen and watch water. Um, and you say, you can see all the little insects that go on. But the dragonflies and damselflies that we get visiting are just, they're lovely to watch. They absolutely are lovely. And they just dart around and sit and watch and skim off in little flurries together. And it's that time of year. Um, so beautiful. So hopefully that's uh, you've enjoyed that. Um, other things you could do is uh, say a wind chime idea. Now, I think if you created um, with a stronger wire, a little wire round frame, um, and then you could hang your dragonflies from that and different lengths of the like the fishing line wire and the nylon thread uh, you could bead onto your nylon thread as well if you don't want to see the thread itself add your crystals because when the sun catches them they're going to be absolutely pretty um, we've got some comments here lots of love hearts thank you very much guys uh, crystal all crystal wings sound fantastic it would really sparkle um, yeah, I guess if you hang them from the window, crystal wings would rainbow all over the room. Oh, imagine that, very magical. Uh, Amy, cute little guy. Thank you, Amy. Um, what have we got? Uh, Marius, lovely. I made a brooch one years back and my daughter came up and saw it on my craft table and she had to have it. <laughs> yes, I make things and my mum has to have it sometimes. So. Which is lovely. I mean, if someone loves your work and they want to wear it, why not? Why not? Share the love. Uh, they are all beautiful, says Carol. Thank you ever so much, Carol. Um, so do we have a favourite of the colour combinations? What do you think? Have you had a look on the website yet to see the colour combinations? I think we should uh, definitely go over and do that in a moment. Uh, Selena says... Oof. I tell you what, we haven't done. We haven't highlighted one for a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let's get there. Here we go. Selena, I love this. I'm going to make them. They are great. Oh, you are great. Thank you ever so much, Selena. So we're getting the hang of this tech. I, I shouldn't say that. It might go wrong. Right. So. Hopefully you've really enjoyed it and you've got lots of ideas now of where to take little dragonfly. As you can see, they didn't take long to make. And if you sat at home counting those little beads out, you'll be much quicker than me. Um, and what you do with the rest of the kit, you could make a nice spiral necklace maybe to hang some of them off. 
Um, I've considered things like making a nice POT cuff on your wrist, and then you could attach the dragonflies to that. Um, maybe a ring. We had an idea. Perhaps we could, you know, I'd probably use a, a, a stronger gauge of wire, thicker gauge of wire to actually make the band for the ring, and then pop your little dragonfly on there as a ring. Um, or you could uh, POT stitch a ring and then stitch him onto it or her onto it. I think that might be uh, quite cool. He would take a bit of a bashing, so his wings would end up being a little bit uh, furled occasionally, but you'd gently with the wire and pull them back into shape. But, uh, could be good fun, couldn't it? I think earrings definitely. And so the necklaces work work well. Maybe the whole wing with crystal next time. That might be the way to go. Uh, I'll see. Then be cross as beautiful purple snowdrop. Um, it would need to be purple to fit in my house. Well, quite agree, but I have to use different colour beads occasionally. So, just for everyone else that doesn't want purple, I think. I don't know who doesn't like purple. I don't want to start an argument on that one. So, we shall. Um, uh, what should we say? Should we talk about the website? Let's have a look at that. And we can show you the bundles if you've not already been on there and seen them. And let's uh, pop over to that bit now for you. Here we go. So, as always, the main logo, Bead Spider here, beadspider.co.uk for you. All your website, all the things that you could need possibly. But for today, if you pop on, click on the big logo it will jump straight to the page with the bundles for you so we have our first bundle autumn leaves bead dragonflies in warm colors so here we go we've got this gorgeous this is i think it's going to be the same as what i was showing you in the terracotta orange red color it's quite a hard one to describe really and you get the free seed beads on there we get a bigger image for you that's all right got the tiger tail sorry not tiger tail you get the artistic wire the 0.4 the three colors on the seed beads which are the size 10s the aurora micro crystals which are equivalent to a size 11 in seed bead world and you've got the the two colors of these beautiful the six mil and the check glass rounded by cones okay and 15.85 this set and if you scroll down, there's also additional items that you might want to wish, which is where the tiger tail sat in. And I know I saw it earlier. So we've got the different size jump rings, your lobster class earrings. If you want to make a whole flurry of dragonflies, you can go there and buy your earring findings. Uh, we have the purple set, which is called Spring Blossoms. Very pretty. And again, if we pop over there, we can see. We got the three colorways on the seed beads, the two colors on the bicone. So here's that blue reflect the marbling effect to it. The pink, beautiful dusky pink, which is very soft, subtle. Um, you've got the AB coating on that one as well. And then the micro crystals. And honestly, for such a tiny little crystal, they really do pack a punch. Absolutely beautiful. So that kit's £15.70. Um, if you buy both, We've got the 15% off deal for you. So just pop that one in your basket and you'll automatically get that discount. So it'll be 26.82. Okay. Now, if you carry on scrolling down here, there are plenty of other colors to choose from. So if you, you've got some design mind ideas in your head of what color you would like your dragonflies in the turquoise, I think would be absolutely beautiful. Lavender with the turquoise. All the pistachios and the ruby red. Oh, I think I'd have to make them in every single colour going. And then I'd have to start again making them in different mixtures of colours. Get carried away. So there we go. And we scroll back up. And if you need to watch it again when you get your beads in the post and you want to watch and work alongside, just pop in and you can watch again. And it will be there for you to see. Okay. Let's switch back over to me sorry about that I'm sure you prefer to see the beads <laughs> all that sparkle who can help it 
So, what do we have going on? What do we have? Uh, uh, be nice for dream catchers. Oh yes, Mandy. Do you do you make dream catchers? Are you? Uh, I've seen lots of them. I've never actually made one. Hand on heart, not had a go yet. But uh, they do look good fun. And yeah, like whether you have the da dragonflies dangling from the bottom of the dream catcher, or would you incorporate them into the to the uh, the netting part, which is the bit that I think catches the bad dreams, is it? And just, Locks them up to stop them getting to you. Uh, not quite sure on the uh, traditional side of that, but they are lovely and they do make beautiful features hanging around your house as well. We don't always make jewelry all the time, do we? Okay. Um, love purples, says Selena. Yeah. Purple penny, if I shout purple, is there anyone here who will know what to shout back? <laughs> don't worry if this means nothing to you, just wondering. Purple. Oh, purple. See, I see purple. I think purple rain for the Prince song. Uh, hmm. What else does everyone think? Mandy Cook's it. Sun catcher. Yep, absolutely. Brilliant. So, what can we say? Come along. I love the fact that you're all here getting in touch and commenting. It's brilliant. To know we're not here on our own is lovely. Um, we set aside this time special and uh, come up with these ideas and hopefully you you, you get inspired by them and you want to uh, have a go and it is nice to see that you're all there and we have also the youtube channel and facebook you've got pages you can like don't forget to like and share and subscribe tell your friends about it anyone into beading or thinking about liking beading and um, brilliant get them involved um, they might watch a few and think, I quite fancy having a go of that. Or some people will be like, no, nah, that's not for me. I'll keep to my knitting or my crochet and things like that. And so it's, uh, we all have different hobbies. I've tried knitting and crochet. Mother-in-law teaches me. I'm really not very good at it. I can keep to my beads. My polymer clay is my other love as well. And so there we go. Um, we have some other comments. Let's put this one up for you. There we go. One horned, one eyed flying. Well, there's lots of different dragonflies and hopefully that's what that's about. And Mandy says, and I have watched Matt before, but this is first for you. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, Matthew's demos are excellent as well. It's good fun, fun to watch. And am I on every Tuesday? I am Mandy. Um, every Tuesday I started with Bead Spider about, uh, I think it was November last year, we've eventually got going and uh, I got my head around the IT side of things and got a camera and all the rest of it that has to go on with this thing. Matthew's been a great teacher. So it's, yeah, I get quite nervous before I come on, but uh, it's, it's, say, it's nice to know you're all out there. So yeah, every Tuesday for me, Matthew does every Friday. Sometimes you'll get uh, Jermaine as well coming up here and pop in some tutorials down. There are a whole host of tutorials actually on the website. If you go in there and have a look, you'll see a whole list of all the different projects. You'll see all my ones, you'll see all Matthew's ones, you'll see the tutorials that are done as recorded rather than live as well. There's an awful lot of those. Um, it's an encyclopedia for learning beadwork and Obviously, we're doing these lives once a week. They do tend to be more simple ideas, but there's nothing stopping you taking them all further and um, putting your own ideas and, you know, bring in suggestions. If there's different types of beads out there that you haven't seen this demo with, we're all than, more than happy to, to come up with a tutorial for something. I like the challenge. Um, obviously, we involve a lot of seed beads. We've got lots and lots of seed beads to choose from. Uh, lots of beautiful colours out there and you'll find when you do projects yourself just changing a colour of a seed bead can make a massive difference to your design as well um, and it's always worth just playing with those so it's all good let's pop that there what other comments have we got going on yep on every tuesday that's that 
lots of love hearts and uh, and thing, thumbs up from people. Thank you ever so much. So I think for today, let's say it was a very simple idea, but hopefully you can go away and come up with your own designs. I mean, brooches, perhaps that's uh, another idea for using these little dragonflies. The rings, I think that's definitely one I might be trying out. And just just to see how versatile it is with everyday sort of wear and tear. Um, I think they make pretty rings. I mean, you could wear one on one finger, one on the other, and have the two sort of sitting next to each other. That could look quite fun. So, there we go. Uh, I told you all about that. What else have we got going on? Oh, it's pancake day today. Who has pancakes? I'm definitely going to be having a pancake or two. Do you have a favourite topping? Mm. I think mine's definitely the traditional lemon and sugar, but I do quite like the golden syrup option as well. Though my boys tend to pick the chocolate sauce. Um, there's four of us, so it does take a little bit of time actually getting all those pancakes cooked. So it, uh, they're absolutely lovely, aren't they? Hopefully you all, all enjoy pancake as well. And I'm going to end about there, I think. So thank you again all for joining us go and pop on the website and sort out the what bundles you might fancy and bye bye everyone out there who's been watching and enjoying and see you again next tuesday and don't forget friday will be matthew thank you very much bye bye